Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, a few decades ago, China's science and technology was still at a relatively backward stage. In the fields of satellite navigation, aircraft carriers, high-speed rail, chips and hand-torn steel, almost all of them had to rely on imports. It can be said that foreign companies have firmly strangled their necks. But after experiencing the Galaxy incident, hand-torn steel incident, and shield machine incident, China is also determined to carry out self-research, master its own core technology, and get rid of its dependence on foreign technology. Thanks to the unremitting and vigorous investment and countless scientists working day and night, China has finally made a breakthrough in the field of science and technology. Not only has it independently developed its own high-speed rail technology, hand-torn steel, super steel and shield machines, but it has also made them all the world's first, surpassing developed countries in Europe and the United States. It is worth mentioning that even in the field of chips, which started very slowly, Huawei's Kirin chip is also a blockbuster, and it can directly surpass the US giant Qualcomm in the field of mobile phone chips. It is no exaggeration to say that as long as this trend continues for a few years, China can really catch up with Western technology in an all-round way. Europe once had a place in the chip market, but now Europe has no strong presence in the chip industry. The chip supply security raised by the United States has made Europe worry that if it does not develop chips, it will be controlled by others in the future. Therefore, it has also proposed a chip plan of more than 40 billion euros, and the model is naturally Chinese chips. Since 2018, the United States has continued to suppress Chinese chips. At that time, some Chinese chip companies had paid for the purchase of EUV lithography machines, but due to the obstruction of the United States, they have not yet obtained EUV lithography machines. Later, the United States repeatedly obstructed the Netherlands from selling advanced DUV lithography machines to China. In this case, China decided to develop mature processes first. After all, China itself has a huge demand for mature chips. Relying on the huge domestic market, it can rapidly expand the market scale. In a few years, China's chip production capacity has soared from about 10% of the world to more than 30%. China's development of mature chips has strongly supported the development of the domestic chip industry. In recent years, domestic chip industry chain companies have achieved rapid growth in revenue. Chip equipment companies such as North Huachuang have achieved considerable revenue growth. This year, North Huachuang has also become one of the top six chip equipment companies in the world. China's development of mature chips has also cultivated a large number of talents. The accumulated chip technology talents have laid the foundation for China to develop advanced chips. It has also made progress in differentiated technologies, such as small chips and chip stacking. These chip technologies can also greatly improve the performance of mature chips and reduce China's dependence on advanced American chips. China's development of mature chips is of reference significance to Europe, because Europe has the strongest lithography company ASML, but Europe also faces difficulties in the research and development of advanced processes. In this regard, even the United States, with strong technical strength, has difficulties in the research and development of advanced processes. At present, the world's most advanced process is owned by TSMC in Taiwan, China, and the American chip leader Intel has also stopped in advanced processes. Another thing that has greatly stimulated European chips 
is that ST Microelectronics, one of the limited chip companies left in Europe, has had to hand over its mature processed chips to chip companies in mainland China to reduce costs and meet the demand for chips for cars produced by European automobile companies in China. Affected by the development of China's new energy vehicles, Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes-Benz and other European companies have had to cut prices significantly. Controlling costs has become a measure that European automobile companies have to take, and ST Microelectronics has to follow up. In this case, Europe can only invest more than 40 billion euros to develop mature chips first. After all, Europe still has some foundation in mature technology. The most advanced technology of ST Microelectronics in Europe is 28 nanometers. Investing in ST Microelectronics to increase chip production capacity and meet the demand for mature chips in the European market is undoubtedly a safer choice. After all, Europe's still strong automobile and machinery manufacturing also have strong demand for mature chips. However, even the development of mature chips now faces fierce competition. With the sharp increase in China's mature process chip production capacity, the global mature process production capacity has become oversupplied. Samsung, UMC, Power Chip, etc. have to significantly reduce the foundry price of mature processes to compete for limited orders. Europe's labor costs are higher than those in Taiwan, China and South Korea. The development of mature processes may be Europe's weakness in terms of cost. Europe follows China in developing mature technology, which just proves the correctness of China's development of mature technology. After all, only by developing the foundation of chip manufacturing and cultivating enough chip talents, there will always be outstanding talents to break out. At the same time, China has cultivated its own chip industry chain and continued to develop technology so that China's chip equipment can gradually keep up with the world's pace and finally achieve independent research and development and a virtuous cycle. In short, Europe is worried that chips will be controlled by others and put forward a 40 billion euro plan. China develops mature chips, greatly increases production capacity, supports industrial development, and cultivates talents. Europe follows China's strategy, but faces cost competition. China's chip industry is gradually achieving independent research and development and a virtuous cycle.